So preparing for this TED talk really got me thinking. I need to figure out a very uh, concise description of what it is that I do in order to achieve what I've now determined from brainstorming, which is wild because uh, this milestone, this public speaking event milestone in my life has become like, it's, it's completed a circle uh, of what I would call, you know, the rest of my work life or the relationship that I have with whatever it is that I want to do with the rest of my life. And obviously public speaking is in there for, because that was one of my goals. So I'm doing it, but I want to make sure that what I talk about is relevant. So I wrote out all the words that I usually put up that, you know, I put out post-its all the time. Anybody that knows me personally knows that it's crazy, but I have post-its everywhere. And one of the words on a post-it is relevant because I feel like there's a lot of irrelevant information on the internet and that's why people don't follow anything because it doesn't have any relevancy to anything that they want to live, you know, read or take in or consume. So that's why I need this to be potent, very, very potent idea that can actually revolutionize a lot of the way that people think. So when I came up with, um, you know, monkey business and robots, which is the pod, my podcast. What I also inside that I realized is what am I doing? Well, I'm helping businesses run better. Yes. But at the same time, the other thing that I'm doing is I'm actually making people have a better life. And what I, and I tried to figure out what does that mean to somebody? Because I can tell anybody that whatever you apply that I say will give you free time. I've been spouting that information forever, but it doesn't always work, right? Because people don't really, and see it as a value, which is insane because free time should be the biggest value, but it's probably because they don't know what to do with it, which is the actual answer. Because I've realized that through all my research and development, all my observations, all my hypotheses are right. So when you have, you make basically make a system so perfect that it like things that could take 10 hours a day now take 10 minutes or don't even have any minutes at all. That it's scary to some people because now they don't have anything to, to do, right? And so the free time doesn't mean anything. They'd rather just be grinding themselves constantly because what else are you going to do with that 12 hours a day where you should be working? Now, remember, scaling is part of this as well, right? If you want to scale to infinity, then you have to think about these things. And so if you don't want to scale, if you don't have a growth model in mind, well, then a lot of these things don't really apply, right? Because you're not looking at it that way. You want to keep yourself in that confined box where 12 hours a day you grind yourself and there isn't any way to get out anyway, right? So one of the things that happened to me yesterday was I applied, I'm in day eight of a 30 day program and the 30 day program is basically a, a game that I made up for myself for this TEDx talk. And it was finding out the main things that maybe I know that other people don't about how I run my biological being in my life and the tricks that I use to get to certain places, right? To get through glass ceilings or to, as I always say, to find and uh, go beyond, you know, your escape velocity, some people will call it. So that was like a year ago, I was trying to determine what my escape velocity was. Now, because it's crunch time and I have a good idea and I already have a presentation already put together and I mean, I've done the same talk over and over, I'm going to do a better talk because I've using the theme that uh, TEDx at Lakewood University provided, which is redesign. And so I thought that was a little trivial in the beginning. And actually what happens is it makes you think, which is what it's supposed to. And then you don't want to do something. You don't want to talk about something that's not interesting or relevant. So it really, really starts to, I'm refining this way beyond like anything I've done. And so one of my tricks and I'll call them algorithms. Okay. Is on the daily, I've come up with this pattern this repetition and I'm putting myself through this 30 day process as well. And so, like I said, we're day eight. And so what I've been doing is I have one trick that I'm going to share with you right now. And I call it first thought, last thought. Okay. So at the end of the day, what I do is I write down the last thought that I have or the most relevant, potent, amazing, interesting, you know, genius savant thing that I thought of that day or something that happened that day, whatever. It's a journal entry. Okay. But it's my last journal entry of the day. And that I call is like what your summary of 
the amazing things that you've learned in the day or the amazing things that you've surprised yourself with, whatever it is. And then go to sleep. And then you let your brain take care of the rest. And you, when, and when you wake up, you write out your first thought. Okay, and so now you have last thought, first thought. And so this is one of these algorithms that I would put into what I'm gonna call uh, something else later, but I'm gonna save that because I blew my own mind this morning. So I'm just gonna say that it does, it does work for me. So that's a trick and uh, I'm gonna put it into my presentation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about all these things in a very interesting and edutaining uh, talk. <laughs>